Here I am in my Canvas course, and I'm going to scroll on down to the module where I want to add content from an EBSCO database. Click on Add, Add External Tool, and then scroll down until you find the EBSCO resources. All of the EBSCO databases that we subscribe to are listed here. By default, the Academic Search Premier is selected because it's a multidisciplinary database. In my case, I'm not interested in pulling up journal articles for my students to read. Instead, I'm interested to see if there's anything from an ebook that, that might be useful. So I'm going to unselect that one and then click E for ebook. If I wanted to select the ebook collection along with another collection, I can use the check marking selection process, or since I'm just interested in the ebook collection, I'm going to click on it. And now I'm going to search on a topic related to my class. It found 43 books. First one actually looks pretty good because it's the basics. There's some other ones though that might be useful. So I'm going to go ahead and click the add button. And then you'll see down at the bottom, here's, here's the URL. Here's what it's going to look like in my class. So I might say, hey, I just want you to read pages 17 to 21 in this book. And I'll go ahead and indent it one level. And there it is. When the students get to this point, they click on it. The entire book will load. Then the student can jump to the specific page. I'm going to show you one more example. Again, I'm in my module and I click Add, External Tool, go to EBSCO Resources. I'm going to take that off. I'm not really interested in scholarly journals. I'm going to jump into Business Source Premier, which does have scholarly journals, but it also has some trade publications. And in, in order for me to search just those trade publications, I'm going to use the Advanced Search. So you'll see Advanced Searching options for all of these EBSCO databases. And I can put in my topic, say human resource management, and I'm going to limit just so I can find articles aren't too long to trade publication. And then again, when you find something that interests you, click add. And you will see it down at the bottom here. I might indent it. And when the student clicks on it, they see the article.